All right, guys. Uh, don't mind my dirty ass truck. All this carpet's getting changed out. I'm not gonna change it until, uh, you know, <laughs> all the work is done. Anyway, um, Mazda Miata short shifter kit. Um, you guys probably seen these on Amazon or eBay, or whatever. Um, in the kit, you guys will get some spacers and stuff and whatnot. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I've put it together already, but I took it back apart to make the video. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Um, no major modifications are done, okay? I've uh, read that someone else took this piece and shaved it down. Okay, so you're going to drop this in. I'm not even sure if this is supposed to be facing the other way. I don't know. This is the way I, it's together, so whatever. I'm not going to bother it. I've been driving it like that, so I'm not going to bother. Um... So this has to be flush, but if you take this nylon ring, you have to um, index it with the, the thing, right? But what happens is it sits too high. You see that? There's a lip now. It can't be like that. So like I said, I saw that someone else took this piece and shaved it down so that it would get flush. What I did was took the old nylon um i guess it would be a washer and cut it instead you know because i have two of them right i'd rather fuck up one of them and then just put everything back to the stock shifter if it doesn't work out because i don't have another one of those so put this in there index it correctly press it down it's all flush okay now this piece, you have to get this nylon piece in here too. Where am I? This way, okay. So you put your nylon bushing on there. I reused my old one. I just didn't want to fight with the new one to get it in there. So let's see, I'm trying to do this one handed. So excuse me if I am. Um, Okay, put that there. Now in here, there's the uh, this Allen screw that replaces that um, thingy now, right? So holds it in place. Okay, take this tensioner thing. Um, the kit will come with this one, but it doesn't want to fit in there too well, so I don't want to fight with it. What I'm doing is reusing the factory one. Goes there. And this top plate goes over it, and then you bolt it all down with the provided bolts. They're extended, yeah, so it reaches through all that extension piece and all that stuff. Um, had it together earlier. Like I said, it. I don't know if it's it's just not. Maybe the Miata is slightly different. So it fifth gear is a little tricky. Maybe it's just me. I gotta I gotta get used to the shifter, of course. Um, you know, with the throw being different, maybe I'm like trying to push it too far or whatever for fifth gear. But um, I mean, it feels good. The throw is definitely shorter. This you don't want to crank too hard because I believe that is cast aluminum that it's going into. So you don't want to strip that well you're gonna have some problems unless you know how to you, can, you know you can weld aluminum and you can tap it i'm just gonna make it snug i don't want to break anything or over tighten anything okay so the kit comes with two pieces yeah this the main shaft and then this threads onto that um i already put my shifter back on there but I'm gonna do it without the boot for now, just so you guys can see. Okay, so it's all together. Second, third, fourth, fifth, reverse. I gotta adjust this shifter ball. I might get a different shift knob. But um, yeah, overall, not not a hard job to do. Like I said. 
I prefer to take the washer and what I did is I just put it in my vise and I just ran a hacksaw or if you want to run your um saws or whatever you know handheld probably a lot a little more accurate I just I cut a good bit of it out remember like um compensate for your blade width too um let me start the truck okay the first second third fourth bit reverse um very noticeable difference in the throw of course it I means should right and if you see it's very very clicky very solid not much play in it um neutral has a little play i say like from third you know from third and fourth to first and second but very small over up so even maybe second gear is a little I gotta get that bushing worn in. You know, that nylon bushing down there is still new because I just got this transmission from the trans shop. Yeah, so it's a, it's a new transmission, so um, everything in it is solid. Probably hence that there's not much shifter play in it. Um, yeah, so anyone, I know some people were inquiring about it, and I told one of the guys, like, fuck it, man, like, for the price, it's not an expensive shifter. Um, so I, I don't see why anyone wouldn't take that leap. I mean, at worst case scenario, you know, something might not work while I'm out on the road. I'm gonna keep the stock shifter with me, all the stock shifter parts, and that's way, just in case, um, you know, something fucking happens, I can just switch it out right back to the factory shifter, worst case scenario. Um, I don't know, yeah. I guess if you guys have any other questions, just, just comment on the video.